Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and I wanted to thank you yet again for tuning in to the videos lately and showing your support and all your nice comments. It's really appreciated and I'm having a lot of fun with you guys in the comment sections and and uh, as we are all awaiting more NX news and Nintendo news and discussing it together. It's been a lot of fun. So um, today I want to talk about something that I've been seeing a lot in the comment section in my channel, in, on, in my videos. A lot of you guys are um, really, really excited for the NX and that's great. Um, however, possibly, just maybe, some of you might be um, having your expectations a little bit too high, possibly, for this um, what the console can do graphically. Now, um, personally, I do expect the NX to outperform, at least, at the very least, a little bit, the PlayStation 4. I do expect that. However, do I expect it to produce 4K graphics? As in, in the game itself? When you play it? No, I don't expect that from the NX. And here's the reasons why. 4K resolution, uh, to output that, even at 30 frames per second, on a top-of-the-line PC with a top-of-the-line graphics card, top-of-the-line CPU, is extremely, extremely expensive and takes a lot of, of power, a lot of actual power to run it. So to run games at a good frame rate, you're going to need at least a NVIDIA GTX 980 um, and one of the new Intel CPUs. You know, I, I, don't, ha I don't have the uh, numbers in front of me or specs in front of me, but you need one of the la latest and greatest Intel CPUs and at least a GTX 980 to even run games at 4K at 30 frames per second, you know. And those graphics cards cost quite a bit of money. So if you guys are expecting Nintendo to release a graphics card or APU custom made chip on the NX devices that can run games at that resolution, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. That's just what I'm saying here. And, and it's, it's sad but true, but the console itself, I have no doubt, will output in 4K um, resolution as far as watching Netflix and movies and content like that. But as far as outputting 4K resolution for games, I just don't think it's going to happen because the, the cost of making it and the price that they would have to charge would be so high that it's just not realistic to expect Nintendo to do that. Now 1080p as the minimum and 60 frames per second for of course Nintendo developed games I do definitely expect that and I expect Nintendo games to look absolutely beautiful on the NX uh, with their art style and no doubt 60 frames per second as they would already been doing on the Wii U with 70 or uh, 720p and 60 frames per second for a lot of their first party titles like Splatoon uh, Mario Kart 8 and uh, Smash Brothers uh, is 1080p 60 frames per second so Nintendo has the ability to do that with their games third party eh, you know when they port stuff and depending on the effort they do um, they will probably rely on more of the raw power of whatever the NX has and just smooth out the rough edges to make it run at a solid 30 frames per second kind of like a PlayStation 4 you see a lot of games running at 1080p 30 frames per second with drops down to like 20 24 you know frames per second it's actually quite pathetic when you think about it the PlayStation 4 and Xbox one really weren't that much of a jump over the previous generation so um, I'm gonna talk about uh, in my in my next video about what I am expecting for the APU of those devices so stay tuned for that guys thanks for all your support please hit that like button subscribe and comment and we'll talk to you guys soon